guys welcome back so here's one of the books i've been reading to some of my classes this week and it was so much fun at the end of the book it gives four pages of different challenges equations that to figure out so this book really makes you think and i love rod clements how he does some amazing artwork in here counting on frank let's see what it's all about so when you're done you're going to need to scratch paper because i'm going to have you guys do some of the fun stuff at the back of the book my dad says you have a brain use it so i do i sit down and i fill my notebook with facts did you know that the average ballpoint pen draws a line 7,000 feet long before the ink runs out? My parents consider this fact to be a bit childish, but I'm sure the pen company would like to know. My dog, Frank, is pretty big and takes up a lot of space. I calculate that 24 Franks could fit into my bedroom but sometimes there isn't room for one. If Frank were a humpback whale, however, only 10 would fit into our entire house. I asked dad about this and he said they would get in the way of the television and everything else. I calculate that only one dad would fit in our big television but only one-tenth of him would fit in mom's portable television. Mom said she would prefer the top part because dad's feet smell. Isn't that an awesome drawing? I love that illustration. We've got a tree in our yard. It grows about six feet every year. If I had grown at that same speed, I'd now be almost 50 feet tall. I wouldn't really mind, except that I'd never get clothes to fit. I don't mind taking baths. It gives me time to think. For example, I calculate it would take 11 hours and 45 minutes to fill the entire bathroom with water. That's with both faucets running. It would take slightly less time to empty as long as no one opens the door. When I get dressed, I don't think about fashion or style. I think about facts. For instance, it is a fact that if I put on every piece of clothing in my closet, I would be nine feet tall and six feet wide. I would also be unable to sit down. I enjoy dinner, not because of the delicious chops mom cooks every night for or the conversation. It's the peas. If I had accidentally knocked 15 peas off my plate every night for the last eight years, they would now be the level with the table top. Maybe then mom would understand that her son does not like peas. There is a mosquito in my bedroom that keeps me awake. It's very interested in the workings of my brain. If it were four million times bigger, it wouldn't fit inside my ear, but I guess it would make more noise than a jumbo jet. At breakfast, I have a glass of orange juice and two pieces of toast. Our old toaster shoots the toast about three feet into the air. It makes you think, if our toaster were as big as the house, it could endanger low-flying aircrafts. Going shopping with mom is a big event. She's lucky to have such an intelligent helper. It takes 47 cans of dog food to fill one shopping bag, but only one franc to knock over 110. Because of Frank's, my knuckles will scrape along the ground by the time I'm 25. The local club had a competition. You had to guess how many jelly beans were in a jar, and the prize was a trip to Hawaii. 
they didn't know who they were dealing with. There are 745 jelly beans in the average candy jar. I thought everybody knew that. As dad said on the plane to Hawaii, you have a brain, use it. The end. All right, well, I, well, I just want to point out how much I love that it started out and ended with, you have a brain, use it. It's a lot like saying, it's a lot like saying, you know what, you're smart, figure it out. And you can tell that that guy figures a lot of things out because his dad has confidence in him and you guys are the same way. You have a brain, use it. Let's figure some of this stuff out. All right, so let me just give you a little sneak peek here. You can pause the video if you want and look at all these cool questions. Here's a chance to use your brain. There is some fun stuff on these pages. All right. You can tell I covered up some things because I didn't want my classes to see the answers, but then I pretty much memorized the question, so I didn't need this. All right. So I'm going to take off my little sticky notes here because I didn't want to write in a book. But here's some more questions you can ask, go through. And if you have to look at these, they're written backwards to figure out the answers. So don't cheat figure them out. So I'm going to go back and we're going to do a couple of these things that we've been doing throughout the week. So if you want to do this, stick with me. All right. So the first one, I love it, is, is Frank will only eat doggo dog food. So they had to take it with them on their trip. And so let's just do a few equations. These are going to be the easy ones. Frank eats two cans of doggo dog food a day. And each can, right, eats two a day, and they are going on their trip for eight days, including travel time. How many cans did they have to take with them on their trip? Next question, pause between these. Each can of doggo dog food is $1.50. How much do they pay a day to feed Frank? And if they're going on a trip for eight days, how many, how much is it going to cost them? This answer goes here. How much is it going to cost for them to feed him all week? For that month, for that matter, how much does it cost to feed Frank for a month or a year? Wow. If he eats two cans a day for a year, how much is that going to cost? All right. Next question. I love these are from the back. So these are just a few that we played with throughout the week. He said he had 745 jelly beans that he took with him on his trip, and they were going to be gone for eight days. If he wants to eat the same amount every day, how many jelly beans would he eat per day? Still quite a, quite a few. I love that. All right. This one was also super fun to figure out. How did he do this problem? What are some things he has to figure out? Now, this one was super fun. If he grew six feet a year and he's almost 50 feet, how old is he? What's his age? That's your first question. Second question is, if you were to grow six feet a year, how tall would you be right now? Super cool. If I was to tell you, my height, if I grew six feet a year, you would have to divide by six to figure out what my age is. Pretty cool. Um, another fun one here. There's some cool questions about this page in the back. But how many tally marks does he have on that page? That's a fun one. All right, you guys. Have fun with these questions. And happy reading.